All right, so doubling up on steel game this uh, this week because last week we didn't have any steel game. Uh, first two episodes right here. We got uh first one is uh season five episode six. We got saucy. Let's get into it, shall we? your football last night? No, no. I was going to come in here and watch it, but... It's not the same without Winston shouting and bawling at the telly, is it? Aye. Because he made it worth watching even if it was a shite game, didn't he? Aye, aye. Fair miss him right enough. Me too. Oh, I was in the bookies yesterday and uh, Captain Dandy was running. Was it? Aye. He won as well. I wonder if Winston was backing him. Uh, I wonder, aye. Hi, I'm missing too. Now. Oh yeah, Winston's done. We pal, we're lost with him. <laughs> Get it up, you, you prick. <laughs> you wouldn't know what it is to miss a pal, Bobby. Well, we never haven't had one, you black-hearted loner bastard. <laughs> you don't need pals in the pub game, Victor. Suck you dry. Here's your post, Bobby. Oh, Chris, I. You can give us our post as well. I'll save you hum for out the block. I can't do that, Jack. Her Majesty's post is very clear on this one. The mail must be delivered to the recipient at the recipient's place of residence. Since when do you care about rules? Give us my post. No, it's against regulations. Chris, you are a shiftless deadbeat. Why are you acting all officious <laughs> as if you're being watched? Deadbeat. Post. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Come on! So I'm going to get hung for this. Right, let's be H, McDay, Jarvis. No, I've not got any. <laughs> Bobby, you've got a lucky bow and a postcard. Oh, what to read first? Lucky Bill or postcard? Mwah. I'm going to keep you till later, you wee minx. <laughs> oh, Sir Winston. Aye. Oh, aye, what's he saying? To all at the Clansmen, just a wee update on life in Finport. <laughs> One twenty-five quid in a puggy in Neville's amusement arcade, and a new baker's has opened. Their cream horns are the bollocks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the place is hoaching with Fandan. <laughs> Best move ever made. Come in here. Get it up, yous. <laughs> Another nice piece of correspondence from Oscar Wilde. And the photograph. <laughs> Nude lassie. Smash them, Bobby. Put up with the rest of them. <laughs> I must have been buying them bulk. <laughs> mm. Well, he definitely knows how to pick the postcards, don't he? Seems like Winston... Uh... Living it up when he, you know, since the move. And he never puts his address on him, eh? Ah, uh, queer that. That's Winston for you. He doesn't want anybody dropping in on him, you know. He likes a bit of advanced warning. Sorry. Afternoon, gentlemen. This is uh, Francis' sister, Molly Drummond. Now that is a familiar face. Jack Jarvis, Esquire. How do you do? How do you do? Bobby Lager. Too shady. Uh, you have me a disadvantage, Jack. Uh, I don't believe we've... No, no, no. Come on now. Molly Drummond. Uh, I think it was sold out the Alhambra six weeks in a row, 1902. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise is just next door. And it's all there waiting for you. Ah, I remember new aye, aye. What was that other one you sung? Uh, <clears throat> Be sure to write me when you get there. No, I never done that song. <laughs> I was telling my cake. Nasty oh, wee cow. <clears throat> now, I'll get these. Come on, you pick me up at the bus station, Tam. Indeed you will not. Tam! Yeah, of course, aye, aye, aye. aye. Um, <clears throat> but I tell you, Molly's up for Finport for a few days. Oh, we, we, have, a, we have a nice friend in Finport, aye. I was telling her, aye. Anyway... Molly couldn't make Francis and I's wedding, so this is a sort of getting to know each other, you know. Aye. <laughs> they tell you that <clears throat> Molly played the Carnegie Hall in the Big Apple. He, this fool tries to get out of paying. It does not matter. He does not like to pay at all. And this is another just prime example because he's just put it off, put it off. Oh, Lordy. Gotta love the wifey. No, you will not. Tam, take care of it. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see if he actually pays. Alongside Billy Eckstein and Sarah Vaughan. Really? <laughs> something there. 
You know who bought her a drink after a show one night? No. Who? A certain Francis Albert Sinatra. Really? <laughs> On the house. Oh, very <laughs> I'm always a pleasure to watch you. Maestro, maestro. <laughs> yeah, well, the way he pulled that one off, but well, he's not like doing that for me either. Oh my God. Jack, where are you? Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. What's it, that? That's Molly. Play with Alhambra, 1962. What a voice. Oh, aye. Right. Yeah. You've still got the looks, eh? Oh, aye, aye. She's foxy. Oh, aye. Nicely turned out. Blonde hair and the makeup and that. She's a looker. Oh, aye, she's a, she's a looker. <laughs> uh, what is it you're wanting? <laughs> oh, aye. Aye, you'll never guess. Bloody Winston just phoned. Oh, aye, what's he saying? Nothing, really. House tricks. <laughs> he was bumming up Finport or something chronic. To get his address? No, no. I asked him, but he was waffling on it, didn't he get it? Well, that's no bloody use, is it? He said a funny thing, though, Jack. Oh, aye. He said, how's the clansman? It's funny about that. Well, nothing, but... but... Then he said, how's Bobby? How's Bobby? Hmm. Well, that's funny. They must have assholes in Finport, surely. <laughs> oh, he would have thought so. Why would you miss a wanker? <laughs> Why would you miss a big walking tit with legs? Dunbar, he'd a a surf, uh, go get me. A dumbwit, a cock bag. <laughs> you know what I think? What? I reckon he's desperately lonely. Go on. Well, if you're so low that you miss the shittiest thing about the place you've left, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> then you must be really hating the place you're in. Where does that put us? Puts us on the bus to Finport, Jack. Oh, so they're just going... What are they going to do? Just search... Well, I mean, I don't know how big the place is, but they're just going to search around? Uh, I love the deductive reasoning they've got there. I'll get the plates and the sauce. No, don't bother with plates. It's awful good of you to have me for the few days. Not a bit of it, Molly. Your family, for God's sake. I mean, I... I, I could have booked into a hotel, but so many of them nowadays are so impersonal. What the expense of tea? Oh, why? I brought the plates anyway. Thanks, Francis. Right, darling, that. Have you no brown sauce, Francis? Brown sauce? Uh. Aye. Oh, eh, uh, no. It's just red sauce we take, eh, Tam? Uh, just red sauce. You know, I might have a sachet of brown sauce that I've lifted. When I eat out, I always grab a handful of these. <laughs> Have me changed? <laughs> I know, what am I like? Every penny's a prisoner with me, eh? <laughs> oh, no! Damn, don't do nothing stupid, bro. She, that is right up his alley. She's tight fisted just like he is. Oh, good Lord. Oh, good Lord. Lord have mercy, what kind of craziness... Oh, hell. Well, we're we'll at the bus station there, so that's a five minutes walk to mm. the beach. That's the shops there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I reckon our best bet's starting on that wee estate there. Stay there. Ah, well, that's as good a place as any. Besides, how many one legged old duffers can they be in Finport, eh? He's wanting up. No, actually, we're heading off. Um, I'm going to get down to Finport. Check out Winston. Hey, what's wrong, man? Oh, nothing wrong. We just thought it was time for a wee visit, you know. Hey, Bobby, a lag on the sweet sherry. Right. Hey, Tom, we're going to shoot down to Finport, see how Winston's doing. Do you want to uh, come with us? Uh, hard than that, really. Uh, any other day, but. No. Oh, you dirty bugger. <laughs> Dude, nicking about in the middle of the afternoon with your wife's sister. Oof, what are you all about? Francis is stuck in that library at five o'clock. It's my responsibility to... To what, Tam? To show her a good time. Oh, curious choice of words, that, showing a good time. 
What is your idea, Sean, of having a good time, Tam? Well, I'll bring her in here and have a sherry, chat. Convivial. Bobby, your idea, Sean, of having a good time? Pumping up. Oh! <laughs> What's <laughs> talking about? I'm only married ten minutes. Have a little respect. Tim, here's your chance to give me a bit of respect and gaze three pound eighty for the drinks, eh? You can look about all you want, Tam. Nobody's gonna save you if you're buying this round. You've had your freebie. Now it's time to cough up. Is it? Is it really? Oh, just in time, Eric. <clears throat> Got your signed album from the lovely Molly. Oh, boy, unbelievable. That's made my day. Oh, so he's going to take and cash in a favor for a bar tab. Oh, dear God. I mean, it's smart, to be honest with you. That's smart. But he's still skirting the paying. Still skirting the paying. Right. Let me square you up for the drinks, yeah, Bobby. Wait. I'll get that. It's the least I can do. I'm the next <laughs> I'm the next Thanks for that, Eric. Yo, that just you know absolute He's an disgust in his face. Has anybody got a light? Why? Hey. There you go. Thanks. I've never got one of these when I need one. I'll give you it back in a minute. Oh, no, that's all right. You can keep that one. Thanks. God. Oh, he is. Oh, poor Tam. Bro, you you not long got married. Like, you, don't be doing stuff like that. That's just, just wrong, man. Wrong. Maybe we should have come down earlier. Time's marching on a bit. You know, I've got stacks of time. The last bus doesn't go back to 11 o'clock. Right, what are we doing first when we get down here? Uh, well, we should be cognizant of the fact that we're down here looking for Winston. But we should also bear in mind we're a couple of pensioners we don't get to the coast very often. So what are you thinking? Fish, chips, ice cream, pint, then Winston. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Tell this is not go the way they they talking about going. Oh, yeah, listen. Don't bother with the ice cream, eh? No. Oh, that's that's lovely. It doesn't that's not good. That's not a good home in there at all. Not what you want to see, that's for sure. I can't even feel my clacker bag. Is it matter? The chips are wrong, is it? I don't know. Closed. Reopen in May. Shut. Oh. When is it open? May. <laughs> Pint. Seasonal town. Seasonal town. Oh, no. Shut down to tourists. Lord have mercy. Oh, they they going to find everything half closed, probably. It's like that, though. You take and go to some places, you know, if it's on the coast somewhere and if it's not the time of the year for the busy season, so we have to, you know, a lot of the businesses that normally would be up, either they they got odd times because there's not as many as much foot traffic as whenever it's tourist season, or they shut down altogether. But a lot of them can afford to because, you know, tourists and stuff like that. All that money, money, money. Wait. I'm starving. Ah, I know, you know. You doing food, son? Normally I, but my cook's in hospital with a depression. Okay. Queerest thing I've ever seen. Took all his clothes off, put them in a neat wee pile, walked into the water. They carted him. He was navy blue, shouting and bawling about toasties. <laughs> <coughs> Aye, well, uh, two lager. That's for the salt. Uh, well, uh... Two pints of lager coming up. 
Oh. Oh, no. Didn't they change the old bottle, eh? No, nope, that's the last one. The brewery only delivers on a Wednesday. Okay, dokie. Two whiskeys then, please. Don't recognize the two of yous? No, we're doing for Glasgow. Mm, what brings you to Finport? Well, as a matter of fact, we've got a pal down here. He moved down here six weeks ago. We just wanted to see how he was doing, you know. Uh, the problem is we won't have his address. What's his name? Winston. Winston Ingram. Red face. Port belly. Limp. Wooden leg. No. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're not helpful whatsoever. I don't know if I'd want to stay in a place like that. No wonder why he's always writing a Klansman. Where do you think the best place to start would be? You're still not wondering about Finport in the dark, are you? Well, I. That wouldn't be the best idea. See, when darkness comes, Finport belongs to the young team. <laughs> Jesus, what are we doing now? Ah, just hold up here for the night. Start your search in the morning. Michael here's got a bed and breakfast. Michael? Haven't you, Michael? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> now, the fellow was saying you've got a bed and breakfast. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You're a, an English fellow, aren't you? Yeah. I used to be a cab driver. Come up here in 95 with my missus. Worst move I ever made. I got Poor fella got butt cheeks for a chin, but he uh, he's kind of odd, which this whole place seems kind of odd. Poor Winston, where did he move to? Uh, yeah, it just, it just doesn't look like he probably made a good decision, if, if I'm being honest. I got back to London in a flash, but the house market went crazy down there. So I'm trapped. Trapped in Finport. <laughs> like a rat. <laughs> Mrs. couldn't stick it. She's gone back to live with her mother. Been quiet, has it? Quiet? It's... Yeah, it's quiet. I don't know if I'd stay at his bed and breakfast, to be honest, would you? He's giving off serial killer type vibes. Just... Throwing that out there, he might turn you into a meat pie or something like that. I don't know. Just kind of off a little bit. About to sell my car and make some money. It's been up for sale for two years. Here's my card. Breakfast is between 7 and 7.30. Poor oh, fella. you like, hell? really. <laughs> Four and five at the top of the stairs. Thanks very much. 1989. You want to have a nightcap with me? No, nah, we've an early start in the morning, son. Ah, we've got a very big day tomorrow. Thanks for offering, though. Go on. Have a drink. No, oh, thanks. Bro. Yeah, I think I'd be getting a refund and just finding a motel somewhere or something. Holy Jesus. Man is lonely. He's lonely. I'm so lonely. It's probably his theme song. Jesus. Bro, I'm going to tell you right now. This 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 episode, a lot of y'all too can give me flack for my, my, my opinion on Hard Nuts. It, 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 that just wasn't for me, all right? I, I still love the show. This right here, I'm already in... I, this episode, and even the, uh, the one after Hard Nuts, my opinion, I, really, really good episodes. This one right here so far is just, yeah, this just... It's almost like they've entered the twilight zone of it. It's just like, eh, I don't think we should have come here. <laughs> like, Jesus. And the cast of characters so far. Eh, eh. I like horror film instead of comedy. <laughs> Poor fellas. Poor Winston. Have a drink with me, will ya? Please? Okay. <laughs> Great. Now, what have I got? I've got vodka. No, I don't. <laughs> I've got Bacardi. Ah, uh, Bacardi's fine. We'll get a try. Looks like somebody's a bit of an alcoholic, maybe. Now, have I got a can of Coke? <laughs> 
Don't let them know you do ya. It looks like Sprite almost. I get. I'm kind of confused on y'all's lemonade because I've been told because I've, I've bought lemonade or, or showed lemonade before y'all like and yeah, that's you know ours is it looks like I've been told basically it looks like Sprite uh, I'm not taking find some of y'all's lemonade and get it sent to me and try it or something because interested to see how it tastes that don't look like no kind of lemonade I've ever seen. Two Bacardi's and diet lemonade. How do you have diet lemonade? <laughs> oh, up charge. He said a nightcap. He's trying to charge him. Bruh. 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 That's not right. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Evening. Evening, Molly. Evening, Tom. Is your room okay, Molly? My room's lovely, Tom. Lonely, but lovely. Oh, no. Oh, here. You oh, sit here. Thank you. Where did you get your guinea, Tom? The hospital. Oh, I was in for a bladder operation back when, and I, I thought a wee souvenir, you know. Yeah. Well, yours is nice tea. It's an Anne's Hotel. Very nice. I actually got two of them. Oh. Bro, <laughs> they're flirting and seeing who's the cheapest. <laughs> Yo! <Yeah. laughs> Bro, that's so par for the course with Tam, though. Like, he is such a freaking tightwad, man. And the fact that and, and he gets out of pan for as much as possible. So the fact he's found, and it's a sister-in-law, the same way. Oh, good God. Oh, this is the weirdest flirting I've ever seen. Well, yours is nice tea. It's an Anne's Hotel. Very nice. I actually got two of them. Oh, Oh, it's a lovely hotel. Lovely rooms. Oh, beautiful, big, fluffy towels. I could hardly get my keys shut. <laughs> right, what are we watching? Oh, basic instinct. <laughs> oh, good lord. I know you asked for bacon, but there wasn't. <laughs> See, if you opened a gun shop down here, there'd be a queue right down to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, get over it. She's not coming back. We need to get out of here. <laughs> get looking. It's Winston! Jesus! It's him! No, 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 no. I've had that before now. Pay up. We're not doing a runner. Our pals just walked past the windy. Yeah, good for you. Now, 14 pounds each. Cough up. <sighs> hey, yeah, that's 30. Just get you your change. No, get yourself a card in that lemonade, you asshole, you. <laughs> <laughs> Now how you gonna find there it? There you go. Son the house, seen as it's your birthday. You can't get enough sweetness in your life, Tom. No, no, you can't. Well, she had turned him on at every stop, just, just playing to his uh, liking the cheap stuff. Like they, they both, they, they'd be two peas in a pod. He put the wrong sister apparently. Not. Molly, I'm. Um... Sorry, you've not seen much of Francis this week. They work her hard at the library there, you know. Oh, damn it. it! It's good as a chance to get to know one another, and that's a good thing, isn't it? 
Oh, oh, the dreaded bill. The bill, the bill, the bill. Oh, <laughs> Tom. Allow me. I will not allow you, not at all, no. <clears throat> Let's get this money out of my pocket. That is a classic move. But here's one I don't think you'll have seen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear Sandy, happy birthday to you. Whoa, she gonna put on the charm. Oh, hey, hell. Hey, Sandy. Well done, darling. <laughs> Let me attend to my bill now. Let me attend to that. Oh, she got oh she got the the cheap superpower though. She she <laughs> Tam can't compete with that. <laughs> like holy crap. <laughs> Tom, did you enjoy that wee song? No, it, it was the bell. It was beautiful. <laughs> I've never had a few out of this place before. <laughs> We must have been up every bastard in the street in this town. I'm just a bit chapped to the skin off my knuckles. Why did we not just bring a photograph? That would have done it. Are we too like this? Aye, right, because that would have been a clever thing to do. And what with us being a couple of daft old pricks? Oh, daft. Hello, you couple of queer hawks. <laughs> Winston! <laughs> what in the name of Christ are you two doing here? Oh, well, didn't he see you? Well, you should have phoned. Aye, well, we would have done if he'd give us the bloody number. Aye. Came down to see if you're all right. What do you mean if I'm all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm in Finport. Welcome to Finport. I'll be a cat stuck up a tree or something. <laughs> Listen, it was really nice of you to come down, you know, but as you can see, I'm fine and dandy. Yeah. So, eh, uh, what is it you want today? Well, I'll just see you now, you know, get a cup of tea and I'll have a look at your digs. Oh, aye, aye, no bother. We've, uh, we've been out of room about. <laughs> There's not a lot to do, is there? Uh, what, what is it you do all day here? Me? Oh, <laughs> I've never done doing stuff. <laughs> all, stuff. All day, aye. Uh, <laughs> every day. Yeah. Like what? I'll tell you what you do, right? Come with me and I'll give you a day in the new life of Winston Ingram. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Do you know what this is? Penny Falls machine. No, not quite, Victor, nearly. This is a cash cascade. It's a license to print money. See, this is a Penny Falls machine without an alarm. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> oh, boo, nothing happens. Will those coins ever fall? Oh, shit. Right, gentlemen. Time to paint the tune red. <laughs> See? Paint the town red. Hey, you don't get this Craig Lang. <coughs> no, you can get your money in Craig Lang as well. <laughs> so, eh? So you're settled then, eh? Here. What? Aye, of course I'm. Couldn't be happier. Well, that's yous. Oh, so that is I. Oh, we never seen your digs, eh? Oh, aye. Eh, uh, well, next time, eh? Oh, we'll, do, we'll do that the next time. Hey, Bill. All the best. Bye, Jack. Cheerio, Winston. Cheers, Victor. Cheers later. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> something to miss. I'll just get your tea for the bus, Molly. Oh, well, I'll come with you then. Don't be stupid, you've got the case. You stay and keep Molly company. All right, so. What's the matter, Tam? Do you not want to be alone with me? 
That's the problem, see? I want to be alone with you. Tonight, or morrow night, or the rest of my life. Your tight-fistedness drives me crazy, sweetheart. <laughs> Gets me harder than the crossword in the herald. <laughs> but this wedding band says we can never be. I'm married to your sister, Molly. Any feelings I have for you ain't worth the hell of beans. <gasps> Got your tennis sweeties and all, Molly. Thanks. Now, you look after yourself. Here's yeah, one her? last oh. freebie for you, Tam. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Followed his ass home. Oh, he hadn't even unpacked yet. You happy now? You've seen it all. What the hell's happened here? The council tell me I was going to a new place, you know. I thought they meant a new house. Down at the beach, but it wasn't even sheltered housing. Full of deadbeats. We red string to pull in case you'd fail or shat yourself. <laughs> I'll look up at them. Tell them to stick it up their arse. Aye, well, you obviously did the right thing there, eh? Because this is the Savoy. <laughs> I know what I've done. Made a complete hurry. See, my problem is, I don't know when to admit I'm wrong. I came down here thinking that I could start all over again, without anything, without anybody, just me, on my Todd. But you can't. You no, know, at this age, I mean, as shite as Craig Lang is. I miss it. I need it. I need the pub. The weeds. I need you too. <sighs> what does it matter anyway, eh? I burnt my boats. Have you got a suitcase? I well, have, I. How? I'll get it bloody packed. You're coming home with us. Aye. Well, where am I going to stay? Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me a wee second, fellas. Get it right, Roger Finpaw! <laughs> I'll take your case for you there, sir. Oh, thanks, son. Oh, no. That doesn't Lager, please. You big lantern jawed, bug eyed, chunky faced, bone idle, dim witted bastard, you. <laughs> what? I've been away six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Olin. <laughs> been away for six weeks. I like that. That was a pretty good episode. And the fact, you know, they're missing Winston and. They have they they find it suspicious and odd. He hasn't given their you know the, his address. There's no phone number, no way to reach him. But he's been sending postcards, talking about living it up and stuff like that. And then of course you got Tam and his <laughs> sister-in-law. I like that episode, man. It was 
It's nothing major, it's nothing spectacular, but it's really good. Especially the fact that, you know, we see we seen Winston leave a couple episodes ago and you know, things just don't kind of look right without him, you know, hanging around. So this right here, you know, finding out what he's up to and bringing him back. I like the episode, man. I like the episode. So this next episode, Hoot Nanny. Okay. Let's get to it. ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਸ ਲਈ ਅੱਧੀ ਰਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੌਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟੀਟਾਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚਦੇ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੇਫ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਮਿਸਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਯੂ ਮਾਈ ਸਨਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਮਾਈ ਰੌਕ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਯੂ this this uh oh don't get choked oh want some cola sugar i saw rock and roll i uh, eat your own stuff that's hardcore right uh, you think it's pathetic don't you huh getting so excited about but a bachelor time well, that's because you're used to it you are single guys Neat eyes. Take no shit from anybody. Free spirits, pirates, hunters, cowboys. Hey. Hey. So, uh, what can I get you? Oh, hey. Oval team. What's that you're doing, Joe? It's an advert. I'm going to put it in the paper. And the vids one day. An advert for what? My wee cottage. You've got a wee cottage? Aye. Oh, that was my mother's. Tiny hoolish. Nice wee place. I just used to use it as a holiday house. Of course, don't get the use of it now. Because these bastards. So, it's lying empty. Uh, nice wee empty holiday house lying empty. Aye. Uh, tiny hoolish? Aye, tiny hoolish. Wee empty tiny hoolish holiday house lying empty up in tiny hoolish. Empty. Aye. <laughs> anyway, I better go get this in the vids one day. Oh, bit of brakes on Michael Schumacher. I'll get you a whiskey, Joe. What's he got planned? Come on! Do you like that music, Isa? Eh? Why? What is it? It's Westlife. It's very catchy. I'm calling you a pistol woman. What's the music? That's the thing. Nina never lets me play music in the shop. Or have the TV on. Oh. Hello. Now he's gonna do all the stuff Hello, that his wife won't let him do. You big puff dude. It's not Mina that's an old Eliza. It's me. Huh? A lean cuisine for your breakfast. You better believe it. <laughs> Oh, but 
doing him a favour. Go up and check the place out before he punts it. I think it'll be funny not being in Craig Lang for the new year. <laughs> funny. Be a relief. Be away for that win for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, Tom, the doting father. <laughs> Tiny village. Right. Where are we? That's easy. Right there. Oh. Yeah, that's closer to Greenland than it is to Scotland. We're going to need jumpers. You'll need huskies. <laughs> Craig Lang no called enough for you. He's wanting to go on an expedition to the North Pole. It's a bloody Highlands. Behave yourself. I'll tell you another thing. It's not just where it is. It's the people that live in it. Hey, what about them? Crackpots. Who are the crackpots? Isolation. It drives you off your nut. And they can't stand us. Pish. I'm telling you, they can't stand us city slickers with your satellite dishes and calculators and <laughs> shoes. That's a crack of enough. They don't have any shoes. They're savages. <laughs> The fact that Tam trying to take him again, get a uh, weekend away or a time a vacation away. Foof. The man's a master at the stuff. I mean, Jesus. Uh. If you want to spend the new year staring at the Muthia Wicker Man, and that's up to you. Have you ever even been to the islands? No, but I've read the books and, I, and I've seen the films. No, no, no. It's not for me. Highlands. Pff, knock yourselves out. <sighs> Listen to yourself. Just tell me. The beach, as he says, golden sands. Absolutely breathtaking views. A great trip, that. There's one pub, one shop, one polis, and he props up the bar. We can drink till six o'clock in the morning if we want. <laughs> yeah, there you are, Tam. Thanks, sir. What are you wanting? I was talking to Frances. She was telling my husband he isn't at your place this year because of the wane and that. That's correct. Well, then, how about this? He's all come round to my place. We open a bottle of sweet sherry, bring in the bells with Jackie Bird. And then after the telly, I will have a right good gab. Ah, that's very nice of you, Isa, but we're off to the Highlands. No, <laughs> uh -oh. oh, no, no, no. But you were going to get a minibus. We were already chipping eighteen pound each for a minibus, you said. Minibus van? What's the difference? The difference isn't a minibus. You have a window to enjoy the vista and a seat for comfort. And a van you just be rolling about the back here. Don't worry about that. I've taken care of it. I've customised it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Customised it with a pishy mattress. <laughs> Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the same mattress that's been lying outside your flats for six months. Ringing and all. Well, you're a fair age. We used to have pishy mattress. That's <laughs> very funny. I see you've made the effort, Tam, but it's hardly pimped my ride now, is it? Excellent, huh? <laughs> you are up front like Lord and Lady Muck. And we're lying at the back here. One speed bump, we're tapping each other like a couple old poofy jackies. <laughs> so you've bagged a seat. I'm an invalid. Get it up, you. We'll see you up there. What? We'll make our own arrangements. What arrangements? Never you mind. Enjoy your trip. We'll have the kettle on for you, Ivan. Mm. Oh, bastard. no, they're taking their... Oh, Slidey, no. Slidey, oily bastard! What's the matter? I'm at Nattergy, that's what. Who's that? Me not supposed to be visiting her idiot sister, but who shows up on the scene? I'm at bastard Nattergy. Is that not a fella I mean I was going to marry? Well, that's right. The two families had it all arranged, and then the night before the wedding, you snuck her out the bedroom window, doing a ladder, and the two years fled to Scotland. <laughs> Here. Did he not go on to become a film star? Aye, that's him. Look at me. I'm a big short film star. Look at my chin like a cornflake back. Look at my pearly white teeth. Oh, what time is it on my Rolex? Asshole! <laughs> oh, God, Nippy. I love rivalry. <gasps> It's so romantic. <laughs> See if he tries to bump us. <laughs> Kill him. Uh -oh. How are they yeah. going to try to get to the highlands? Travel sweet. Don't mind if I do. A couple of sniffy old bastards, eh? Right. Couldn't they sit in a mattress for a couple of hours? The best it is. We'll be sitting in a bus right now, stuck with every arsehole in the world going at 30 mile an hour. Aye. Stopping at every two bit town in the land, picking up wankers. <laughs> He'll slap it in. Stopping <laughs> at every red light. 
Oh, Jesus. So they're not going to make it in the van, and they've already <laughs> made it by taking a plane. Oh, Lord. I don't blame them for not wanting to get in that thing, though. I mean, that, that mattress looked grimy as hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> Definitely a problem here. See that wheel up there? Hi. That's Taina Hulish. Oh, what we didn't do. Well, according to Joe, we phone the pub on Taina Hulish. Someone comes and gets us. Hey, good. Wankerly town, no, it means a village. <laughs> village? Oh, there's no town or village. Ah, you have city men right enough. Just the cove. Cove. Move. Hi, <laughs> so there you are. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> hello there. Hello. Where's the other two? Hello, too. Aye, we were expecting a party of four. Staying at Joe's place. No. Oh, no, no, no. We, we, we came up separate. They, uh, they should be here shortly. Uh, uh, well, there's been no other phone call. Probably just delayed a wee bit. Uh, uh, Donald, say hello to the visitors. Hello there. Oh, hello. Is this your first time on Tyna Hoolish? Oh, it is, aye, aye. Very nice to it is, eh? Thanks very much. I'm Callum. Uh, we're a happy bunch. That's Sandy there. Are you joining us tonight for the bells? Uh, aye, if that's okay. And of course, you've met Gail and Dan Marie. Aye, aye. Hello again. Hello. Hello. Will you take a drink? Aye, two whiskies. The telly broke, is it? No, no, it works fine. I just can't get a picture on it. <laughs> it works fine, but it, 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 that homie that's that's broke works fine, but I can't get a pic. Can't get a picture means it's broke. Just. Tossing that out there, homie. I've been tinkering with it for I don't know how long. It's more of a hobby, really. You'll be wanting Joe's keys. Hey, aye, and directions and all, thanks. Oh, that's easy. Just take the footpath behind the pub, cross the field, and head off up the hill. It's right at the crest. You can't miss it. Yeah. Right, well, we'll have these, and then we'll take a look. Is this it, is it? Is what it? Is this where you do the new year? Aye. So this is it, eh? the hub. Yeah. Oh no, you don't insult. Oh, come on, fellas. Ugh, ugh. No, you don't do that. It's too small of a place to do stuff like that. You were out your welcome before you can even start. Every cent of it all kicks off. <laughs> well, yes, it would be. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Everyone descends here for how many? Everyone. Aye. <laughs> no. We are everyone. <laughs> Jesus. And what's amusing you? Oh. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> Look at that. Gary Glitter. <laughs> and what's wrong with Gary Glitter? You don't have my arm, Tim. I can't say we have hair, no. 
Nothing. Nothing at all happened to him. <laughs> Jesus. Look at him, Jack. Them babies are real. Oh, no. Oh, oh, don't tell me you haven't seen rabbits before. Well, I'm not in a pub, maybe in a bloody butcher. <laughs> You've got this place a pub. You couldn't swing a cat in here. I know, it's like a phone box with a licence to sell drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, listen, let us get you a drink. Aye, the drinks are on us, how about it? Aye, aye, aye. What are you just wanting? Whoa, is that a £20 note? <laughs> it is, aye. Oh, uh, these are very common in Glasgow. Oh, <laughs> we use them all the time. There's a uh, little daily there. That's uh, broad. Homie, sarcasm. You don't take an answer with sarc. You're in a precarious position right now. All these fellas. They know fucked up. They don't know it yet. Thank you, Castle, feel free to take a look if you like. <laughs> Never seen a twenty pound note before, son. Yes, of course we have. You a couple of wankers. <laughs> Get out. That wasn't very bright. Oh, have you never seen a twenty-pound note before? Shut up, you're as bad. Well, there's a photo of Brody Castle on the back there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus! Home oh, shit, wing. Oh my God, does they come here anymore? The button Ben out the bloody brooms. <laughs> and we've annoyed the pub. Uh, think we're bad? Well, he didn't he say we were bad. No. I just said go out, you a couple of anchors. Aye, that's all he said. We might still be alright. Uh, what are we gonna do about this dump? All it needs, Jack, is a couple of homely touches to warm it up. <laughs> oh, something tells me this whole trip is not going to go the way they want to. <clears throat> at all. You want to do an inventory? Why? Right. Cheese and onion crisps to things four. Swiss roll, one of. Cans, lager, one does. Sandwiches, packs, four. What do you suppose has happened to Tom and Winston? <laughs> if they've any brains, they will have pissed off back to Craig Lyme. <laughs> Who was in 64? Is that right, Marley? Right. Oh, That's no. When we get the Zephyr. Oh, that was a beast. Turn up, they used to call them. Always loved fast cars. My father had the Humber Rock. I was a machine. I mind one night, I took it out. Got it up to 105 mile an hour. It was a white knuckle right in this. Zodiac comes up the back of me trying to get past. No chance. Right, yes, you like your fast cars. Oh, aye. Not new, of course. When I was a boy, full of vinegar. But you get married, you have your kids. Your fires die down a bit. You settle down. Uh, that's why you bought this car, is it? The old moggy, aye. Never let me down. Safer. Mere sensible. What speed are we doing now? Plenty. On the motorway. Make the bells next year at this rate. Hey. Nothing. Oh, think this fella wants by. <laughs> he's no getting by. Well, he's obviously in a hurry. Maybe you should let him pass. Go to the outside lane, maybe. Eh? Hey? You think so? Love, gonna have a word with him. Hey? Oh. Alec. Aye, oh, dear. Put the boot down and show this bastard what you want. <laughs> Come ahead, you dicks. Right, let's open this baby up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> How do you like Dark Natterzy? Oh, Naveed, please stop throwing darts at my face, I beseech you. Oh, no, Naveed, the loss is mine now. I'm standing at that wife's dicks. <laughs> Listen, Naveed, me and Eric have been talking and what would the boys been away in that? We're in a bit of a loose end tonight. 
If, what, what I think, Mickey... Aye, what, what we've been a been away, we thought, what's the point is us sitting in with respect of who's he's twiddling with thumbs? Aye. When we could all be bringing in the bells together. No, I've got too much in my mind. Well, that's exactly your point. Take things off your mind. Bring in the bells together. Have a natter. Natter Jude! <laughs> Boy, can you pick them, eh? A Morris Minor with a psycho at the wheel. <laughs> Killing me. Your foot is killing you. What? I'm saying your feet are only killing you. You've only got one leg, your foot is killing me. I would even have accepted my foot are killing me. But no feet. Oh, shut up, you bastard. You shut up. Why are you like an old woman? No wonder. With any brains, we'd be halfway back to Craig Langvenue. Navid's van was unfortunate. The psycho driver was unfortunate. But our fortunes are about to change. We're nearly there. What are you talking about? We're a hundred miles for the place. Listen, Winston. For God's sake, it's hug my knee. Jack and Victor are expecting us. Keep the heed. There should be nothing that he likes to me and you. Aye. A couple of guys like us. Give Winston a pep talk. Exactly. Oh, Lord. We're the Wild Rovers. <laughs> Aye. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about the nagging. No, no. I'm sorry about the foot crack. Right. Onward. Oh, oh, here we go. That's one flashing us. Aye. What is that clown at all? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello. Hey, but we've undone the fricket of a couple of whiskies, if that's OK. Aye, that's OK. That's good of you. Not at all. Hey, we went for a walk round the island. Did you? Absolutely beautiful. Yes, we think so. No, but... It's magnificent. Oh, now they're going to try to take... Look, you don't go too far with things, right? Just tell them, we're sorry we fucked up. Like, get it, just get it out the way. Hey, we're sorry we fucked up, we, you know... What? We apologize. Enjoy the evening. Have some whiskey. Then, you know, that way you don't make things awkward by taking and trying to be effusive with the with the way that you're taking and saying that your island looks really good, man. Breathtaking. <clears throat> Thank you. Steak, pie, and potatoes, and the soup to start with, please, Carol. Gail. Steak, pie, and potatoes with soup to start for Donald Love. Will you two be wanting anything to eat? Hey, no, no, you don't. No! You just eat what the fuck they cook. You're gonna. Oh, they, these fellas are just. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Should have just ate at the cottage, walk back up there for your alcohol. Drink some alcohol, walk back, because now you're going to insult them because you're not eating the food, but you're eating food that you brought because you're going to make them think that's like, oh, man, oh, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, <laughs> it'd be hard not to take a snicker if, you know, you got one fella that's in the pub that he's working on a TV that apparently works but just doesn't show a picture. And the whole town is just right there in the pub. Like, oh shit, we hit the big time, fellas. Kind of hard not, you know, not so much shit talking, it's just you're not, it's not that you expect more than like six people for a town. <laughs> oh no. That's it. Out, you bar. <laughs> oh, 
10. <clears throat> well, I've been You're doing lucky a hole to in get the a... past in New Year's Eve, Tam, but never doing an actual hole for three years, so that's a first. Thanks for that. <laughs> in an hour in a bin lorry, followed by an hour and a half in a tractor, which covered a grand total of four miles. <laughs> in the final leg, pardon the pun, stuck in a sheep truck. Having my knackers nibbled by dolly hats after you, Tam. I'm having a belt up. Shut up. <laughs> we're here now. That's time we're least there. Oh, oh, what, so we're just to walk over water now, eh? Good old. Oh. Here, Munson, look. Telephone box. Let's phone a friend. Oh, no. This is just dandy, this, eh? Stuck in this dump. Bard. At the only pub on the island. <laughs> Remember last year? Last year? Stuck in a lift. Oh, Christ, I... And do you know what? I missed that lift. Oh, aye, sweet, sweet lift. Compared to this, give me the pushy lift. Aye, the pushy lift wins it. <laughs> Hello, is this where the party is? Eh, uh, come over in, son. Listen, we... Your two pals have just phoned the pub. The girls are away to get them on the boat. And this time at night? Well, with luck, the lassies should have them in the pub by the bells. I was thinking it'd be nice if you were there to meet them. S so, we're no bad? No. We can't have you going back to Glasgow thinking we're all a bunch of sewer faces, can we? <laughs> you're right, you're on. So you got the rival's picture up in the house. Huh. And it everything is white except for the table and the lamp, which is kind of yellowish or gold. They don't look like they're having any kind of fun whatsoever. <laughs> Did, uh, you want some Bombay mix? No, no. My bits in fire. <laughs> That's a smashed television set you've got there. Aye, right, thanks. Do you use it much? Only when I want to watch television. <laughs> Do you want to put it on now? Aye, right, if you like. Thank Christ. Yeah? It's nice, sir. <laughs> Not long to go now. Hope you've got your wee dram at the ready. Of course, the celebrations have been going on all night round the globe. Australia, of course, the first to ring in the new year. Boy, do they know how to party. In footage out of India just a few hours ago, you can see the revellers there having a whale of a time. A rather dapper chap, does not it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he done lost his mind. So was he. Hey! Oh, oh. oh, look, there's only 40 seconds to go. Callum, why did you break out the good stuff? Is it okay? Oh, why? Any sign of Jack and Victor's two pals? Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, what Hurry is up, that? we can still make it. I've only the one leg. I'm coming down, I'm coming. Here we go then. Happy New Year. Eric. Oh no. Happy New Year, Levit. Happy New Year, Isa. Now don't you go worrying about me now. Oh no. Oh no, he go oh no, don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Can I wish one and all a happy new year? Including the grumpy old Ouija's. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Happy New Year, you bunch of sheep shots! <laughs> Take it too far, take it too far.
this is gonna be awkward as shit now. <laughs> I'll get the mop. Aye, the mop. Oh no, David! David and Isa, really? so that does it for that season uh not, you know next two episodes will be the ne uh start of the next season and then uh yeah we'll have to figure something out for seven eight nine i like those two episodes though I, I really do because we got winston looking for winston finding out how he is in finport horrible situation and tam he married the wrong sister and then this last one ringing in the new year and the locals is all of like six people. <laughs> like, they didn't appreciate the humor, <laughs> to say the least. Holy crap. I mean, that's not quite, you know, if you're going to have a weekend away or something, like that's not how you want to do it by being banned from the, the, the pub. You know, the only place to get anything from somewhere. And it, Winston and Tam, man, their, their trip was a lot different than the than Jack and Victor, that's for sure, but Navid and Isa? Oh, Lord. Bro, this, these last two episodes of the season were just jam-packed full of like, oh, wow. That's really, really good writing, though. Again, for anybody that wants to say anything about my opinion on Hard Nuts, it's my opinion. My opinion. If you don't like it, I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you. It hit me the way it hit me. Every other thing I've seen of this, it, the next, the one after was better than that. It's not as strong as what a lot of the other stuff has been. These last two awesome finishes to the season. We're all allowed to have opinions. Like, if you're going to take and come at me in the comments because of my opinion, I'm not trying to offend you. But if you take offense, what does that say about you? Th these two episodes right here were some of the better of the season, in my opinion. The first three were, or the first uh, two were really strong. First three were really strong. Hard Nuts was just kind of like, what? What? It just did not, It to me, it broke up the whole flow of the season. And it just, I understand it's overacting because of the TV show, but it just, ugh. these last two episodes, last three episodes, really good. I mean, so, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.